Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a wheelchair with a kid catching a ball. Okay, now this is going to be complicated only in the sense that there's a lot of parts to it. So the first thing we're going to do is take three fingers on the bottom left and right there I'm going to put a dot. And I'm just going to leave it alone. Then I come over to the bottom, put one finger, and put another dot. From the bottom dot I'm going to draw a baby circle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build our wheelchair going up. At the top where the dot was I draw a little skinny rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. On top of that I draw another skinny rectangle going perpendicular. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Starting right here at this corner I draw a straight line up straight line over, straight line up, keep going, straight line over, and we're going to leave that floating. Now I come back to that very first dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a bigger circle all the way around, keep going, keep going, keep going, connect. Now that I've drawn my bigger circle, I come back over to my left hand side and I'm going to start connecting. So right here I draw a straight line across, connect. Then right up here I'm going to draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. I come back up to the very tippy top and I'm going to draw Another skinny rectangle, little straight line out, up, over, keep going, straight line down, little straight line, connect. On top of that, I draw another skinny rectangle. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Now I can start connecting lines again. I come back to this line right here and I'm just going to draw a straight line all the way down, connect. I come inside this space and I'm going to draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line up, straight line over, connect. And I'm going to draw a little straight line here to connect that. I come back to the top right here at this point and I draw a curved line out little curved lines in, connect, and I'm going to do an overlap. I draw another one below, behind it, curve line out, little curve lines in right where it hits. Okay. Now I go back to my baby circle and I'm going to draw another line going all the way around and connect. And I go to my big circle and where I have room I'm going to draw another line all the way up all the way around and connect. I come on the inside of the baby circle and draw another baby circle and draw straight lines going in or out depending how you drew it. And now I go to my big circle and I draw another baby circle and I draw straight lines going in or out depending how you drew it all the way around. Now some of you might say, well that doesn't look quite right. Well, you know what? Wait until we color it in and then you'll be able to see it a little bit better. And those of you kids that are drawing this for the first time, it took me a couple of times to figure out how to draw it. We're going to draw another skinny rectangle, but this one is diagonal. Straight diagonal, little straight line, straight diagonal. Okay, now I'm going to draw my kit. I come right here at the top, kind of keep them even right here, and I'm going to draw my circle. Now I draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, jump over, 
Don't draw through your drawing, a little straight line. Come on the left hand side, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, and I'm just going to draw a little curve line going down. Now I come down to this rectangle. Oops, let's do this first, sorry. Let's do our feet. We're going to draw a curve line in, curve line, and then we're going to mimic it so it looks like another foot. Curve line over, connect. Now I can draw my legs. I just draw a curve line down, put a little curve line inside. Come back to the top on the right. We're going to draw a curve line one, two, three, four, five. Connect on the right. Come on the left. One, two, three, four, five. Connect on the left. Okay? I'm going to add one more little curve line in here, leave it floating. Come on the left hand side, curve line out, in, connect on the left, curve line out, in, connect on the right. Now you can make your hairstyle any way you want, and you could also make this into a girl, but I'm going to make mine a boy and just do little straight lines all the way across. And I'm going to put a curve line in the middle, big curve line one dot and another dot okay you know how I am sometimes I forget stuff but I think I've got everything except for the ball so over here on the left hand side I'm just gonna draw a big circle and I'm gonna do what we call motion lines I put a little curve line down at the bottom and two curve lines up at the top I think that's all but we'll know better once we start coloring Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, everybody's wheelchair, I bet, is different, and everybody's colors are different, but I'm just going to do what I thought would look nice. So I start over here on the handles, and I'm going to do these blue, and then I'm going to do this section blue. I'm going to do this section blue. I'm going to do this section blue. And I'm going to do my wheels. So I do this section blue and the outside rim blue. And a little blue dot in the center. And with my big wheel, same thing. Blue on the outside all the way. Okay? Then if you have gray, I did this part. Oops, I forgot something already. This is my little foot holder. So this should be blue. And I'm doing these parts blue just so that they stand out from the rest of the wheelchair. Because sometimes you look at it and it's like, well, what part is that? This whole section, I'm going to do gray. Okay? Now, if you have a different color, go for it. But I'm going to do this section gray. So that's pretty much your chair. So you can see it. It's pretty complicated, but if you think about it, its job is pretty intense getting you around. Okay, now I do my shoes. These I did black. And I did my pants green because I was thinking uniform, school uniform. I left my shirt white. And then, lightly coloring my hands, I did these brown, a light brown. And I did my face a light brown. You can do your skin color any way you want. Okay, and then, because really what we're trying to show is this kid catching a ball, because it doesn't matter if you're in a wheelchair, you still can play, catch, and I did my whole ball red. Okay, I think that's it. Let's see what this guy looks like all colored in. Here's my kid, all colored in, playing catch with his ball all ready to go out on the playground and have a good time. Okay, bye-bye.